thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's an interesting measure of how much we think alike that actually we did our speeches separately and we're going to actually reference space. So just saying, as far as being a night owl, what I love about being a night owl is Matt is too. And so uh, cabinet, get ready because we're going to be meeting at 2 in the morning. <laughs> I have no doubt of that. Uh, midnight is where the day begins. That's what you two said. Uh, thank you for being here. I want to recognize all the dignitaries who are here, uh, Governor Bevan, uh, Governor Bashir, and uh, honored guests. Uh, thank you for coming and sharing this day with me. Uh, I want to especially recognize my family and friends who are here, my husband. Uh, my sisters are here. I have some sisters from Detroit. Uh, from Maryland, some close friends from Detroit. Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate you coming to share this day. Thank you. And I especially want to uh, to thank my mom. Uh, at, after traveling the state, my mother has her own fan club. Uh, 88 years old, Miss Marie. I wave, mother. <laughs> She is a huge part of who I am, and so I thank you, Mother, and we, we all love you. Thank you. We are so blessed to live in a nation where someone born uh, and raised in poverty can rise from poverty, and I truly appreciate this. It's the best nation on earth. It is. I don't think in any other country are we given the freedoms and liberty where we can chart our own paths. And I've always been appreciative of that. And so, yes, I dreamt of space. And if you, for those of you not old enough to remember, in the 1960s, uh, there were launches, uh, boy, just maybe every other month, maybe every month. I don't recall, but I just remember spending many a, many a morning curled up on the couch watching the launches. Uh, watching the splashdowns uh, because the rockets, the uh, rockets, uh, when they came back to Earth, they splashed down in the ocean, and there was the whole ritual where the ships went out to get them. But boy, it just made me dream such huge dreams. And looking back on this, what this was, I was, I had something that was so huge, a goal that was so big and lofty, uh, that it colored who I am. It shaped who I am, who I have become. And even though I did not become an astronaut, sometimes when you have a huge goal, even if you get halfway there or a third of the way there, you've grown as a person. And so God sent me, ended up sending me on an incredible journey from Detroit to here. Uh, from I spent time in the Air Force, so from the from the from Air Force Blue to the Bluegrass State, it's just been a fantastic journey. And I believe I was sent to serve, uh, to help set, to launch Kentucky on its rise from the bottom to the top. <laughs> Governor Bevan and I have a vision for Kentucky which will help every citizen of Kentucky. We see Kentucky as being vibrant, the vibrant commonwealth that it's meant to be, that it could be, and we're not there yet. But we are certainly ch uh, relishing the challenge of shaping Kentucky uh, and moving it forward. We look forward to the uh, daunting task of putting Kentucky on solid financial footing. Uh, I've been sitting in budget meetings. That's been an eye-opener. <laughs> uh, we look forward to a Kentucky where jobs are plentiful. We want people to come here, stay here, grow here. We say to, we say to people around the nation, come here, raise a family, start a business shape your career, maybe even refresh your soul. I think one of my sisters came one time to a retreat here. There's a, there's a hidden retreat, she did. <laughs> uh, at a monastery, if I remember correctly. Yes, <laughs> uh oh, she says that's her secret spot, so I wasn't supposed to mention that. <laughs> so, uh, 
I am so grateful. Even though I didn't become an astronaut, I am just truly grateful to have an opportunity just to serve. Uh, I joined the military back in 1985. I was grateful then for the opportunity to serve my nation. And I am equally grateful, or more so, to serve the citizens of Kentucky. I look forward with a servant's heart to being a champion for entrepreneurship, for small businesses, for education. I would love every Kentuckian to have a love of lifelong learning that I have because it has served me well throughout my years. I look forward to sharing my story as I've traveled the state on the campaign trail my, the story of my rise from poverty has inspired so many, and so I hope to inspire many, many more. I will be a positive and uplifting voice to Kentuckians. Uh, I, want to, I want to travel, I want to talk to kids. I plan to be as gorgeous as this building is. I plan to be behind a desk as little as possible. I plan to be out and about in the Commonwealth, come visit some of you, come visit small business businesses, talk to schools, talk to colleges, uh, just everywhere I could be to inspire and help people see the potential in themselves. Because when every one of us discover the potential in ourselves, we discover that we unlock the potential that Kentucky has. And I'm looking so forward to helping make that happen and watching it grow. And it's going to be fun to watch. The Bible verse that I will place my hand on in a, in a second here is one of my favorites. It's Galatians 5.1. And I found it one time after I uh, loaded my Bible app, after I finally joined the 21st century and got an iPhone and loaded my Bible app and wanted to see what the Bible had to say about liberty. And that one popped up. And it goes like this. It says, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And so I say to you today, I'm going to help Kentuckians shake off the trappings of bondage. And I'm going to help you stand. Because our liberty is truly God-given, and we, sh we need to keep it, preserve it, and more importantly than that, we should use it and be grateful to Almighty God for it as I am today. And I thank you for allowing me to serve you as your next Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. your name. I, Jadine M. Hampton. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So long as I continue a citizen thereof. So long as I continue a citizen thereof. And that I will faithfully execute and that I will faithfully execute to the best of my ability to the best of my ability the office of lieutenant governor according to law the office of lieutenant governor according to law and I do further solemnly swear and I do further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present constitution that since the adoption of the present constitution I being a citizen of this state I being a citizen of this state have not fought a duel with deadly weapons have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state within this state nor out of it nor out of it nor have i sent or accepted a challenge nor have i sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons to fight a duel with deadly weapons nor served as a second in carrying a challenge nor served as a second in carrying a challenge nor aided or assisted 
nor aided or assisted any person thus offending any person thus offending so help me god so help me god thank you